So when I first saw this, I swore I didn't want to believe that this was serious. Like, I, I wanted to believe that this individual here that made this video wasn't serious. That was a parody of some kind. Talking about, you know, how people are upset about the overall differences in the Jutsu Kaisen anime and manga. Talked about it yesterday. But upon watching this video, which you cannot watch it now, sadly, because this individual here actually privated it, so you can't actually go and comment on it, etc., which makes a lot of sense why they privated it, basically claimed that they talked to an animator within Studio Mappa that worked on, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, and also they admitted that AI is being used in Jujutsu Kaisen, especially for the latest episode. And as soon as I heard that, like I said, I, I wanted to believe within the core of myself that there is just no way this person is serious. Because, look, I give a lot of studios a lot of flack, and I have definitely talked about MAPPA in the past of how they overwork people. But if there is one thing I have always said, the staff at MAPPA, or any studio, not just MAPPA, they work. They are passionate about what they do. They love their work. They love anime. They love manga. And they put blood, sweat, and tears into what they work on. And the fact of the matter that this person so confidently can just say they're using AI is just so disrespectful that I just, I, there's no word that I can say to really express my sheer disappointment on just the matter at hand. But let's get into this, okay? So this video, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you guys, and you can just listen to this, okay? This person is dead serious, and because of obviously the post, it had 13k likes. That's how many likes it had before she privated it, and. Th those comments on that video basically were saying, wow, this explains a lot. And then people were like, oh, this makes a lot of sense why the episode was trash and all that. This was given ammunition for those that obviously already hate JJK or hate the episode because there was a little bit of a difference. And so this added fuel to the fire, obviously. So let's just, let's get, let's just listen to this and you can see what I'm talking about. Episode. After speaking with an animator and doing a lot of research on animation, it's looking like it boils down to budget, AI, and time. To my surprise, I learned that AI is... Budget, AI, and time. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not factor in hard work and dedication and passion for, uh, you know, what they're doing. The animators, what they're working on. Yes, time is a huge factor, I agree. And yes, sometimes money can be a factor too. But a lot of these animators, they... They work on it because they love it. It's hard work, time, effort, dedication, and skill from the animators. And I'm not someone that's going to go and say that I know everything within the anime industry, especially when it comes to art and animation and staff. I'm not going to go on a limb and say I do. I don't. I, I have basic understanding. But even with my limited basic understanding, it is just so disrespectful to just say budget, AI, and time. Time, I get agree with. Budget's not as important, but it is kind of, but not as full important as the staff, a really quality staff that has just worked in the industry and knows what they're doing. Very much just a lot of talent, so to speak. And the fact that we have this start off where she says that, and then an animator went out of their way that she talked with, apparently, said that, you didn't talk to any animator. Let's, let, 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 let's be honest. She did not talk to any animator. And if she did... Please, drop some names, the deets, the DMs. I am legit curious because there is no way an animator would literally crap on their own self and their own work like that. There's just, I don't believe it. I don't. But anyways, let's, let's continue. Very much a part of MAPPA's animation as well as other major studios' animation. So she claims that basically AI, time, budget, and all that is a big part of MAPPA's animation and just other studios. And here's the thing, like, okay, I mean... You're, that is just, it's so disrespectful in so many ways. Just not just JJK, J Chainsaw Man, but it's just the whole anime industry. That is just so disrespectful. But let's continue. For example, this screenshot right here, this is not a hand-drawn in-between frame. You can kind of see how it looks transparent. This is AI kind of filling in the gaps to... Do I even need to explain how wrong this is? Do, do, I, do I even need to just, like, dive into just how incorrect of information this is? And the sheer confidence, like, here, let, let's do a reroll, okay? The sheer confidence in this individual to just comment on this and say it's AI, which is such a straight face, 
it's just like, wow, no wonder 13,000 people that watched this video and left it a like. Like, you know, 13,000 likes. That's not including the impressions. Like, I think it had, like, 50,000 impressions or something. It, it was a lot of impressions. But the fact of the matter is, is that the the confidence this individual has just relaying this is why people obviously would believe this. Just just listen. Again, listen to the confidence. On in between frame, you can kind of see how it looks transparent. This is AI kind of filling in the gaps to save animators time. Here's another example. <sighs> okay, so let's just get into this. So she's talking about these little transparent like moments between frames, as you could see here, like in even like smudge marks too. Sometimes there's like smudge marks example. within movement. And here's the thing about that, okay? This has been a thing in anime way before AI was even a thing for what could be potentially possible nowadays. This is definitely... This isn't AI. This is a transition frame between one scene to another. This has just been a part of anime for decades at this point. It's it's not new. This isn't ghosting with AI. And it's just like... Oh! The sheer confidence. The, just the sheer confidence and the overall misinformation... It's kind of like, wow, it's astounding. I honestly, it's I'm impressed. I am legitimately impressed by just the confidence of misinformation. It makes a lot of sense why this individual privated their video. It, it makes so much sense because it's just like, oh, imagine if like bigger crowds, like, you know, the Sakuga crowd, you know, the, the actual people that know a lot about art and animation were to get a hold of this. This would be wild i could not imagine what i'd be seeing what people would be saying like oh my goodness because like i said i have a basic understanding but even then i even with my limited understanding i am very well aware like th this point alone what she says here just destroyed her entire argument when she just says this new episode after speaking with an animator and doing a lot of research on animation it's looking like it boils down to budget ai and time Okay, I I'm going to leave it at that. But uh, clearly what this shows, though, is that uh, people... <sighs> Studio Mappa, I give a lot of crap to, yes. But I have never said they were a lazy studio. They're not. They are far from it. They work hard. And it is just so mean and awful to do to so many people that put so much work into these projects. And the fact that all this is coming from just a change in camera angle, people are commenting on it, is just... That's nutty. I want to leave it at that, though. Uh, I just I want to talk about this. Apparently, anime is uh, being animated by AI. We know that's not true. But uh, and maybe one day that will happen. But, yeah. Anyways, be safe, stay healthy, she be out.